though, the city of Pontiac wants landlords who don't keep up their properties to step it up. They say if not, it could lead to dangerous conditions for renters. Our AJ Walker is on your block in Pontiac with what the city is doing to make sure renters know their rights. I was scared at first. I did not allow her to put me on the streets. But any of those things could be a form of retaliation. Pontiac Mayor Tim Grimel was front and center telling people more about new ordinances aimed at giving tenants more rights. He also explains why tenants rights town halls like this one are necessary. Although we have some really great responsible landlords in the community, we unfortunately also have landlords who aren't responsible, who don't treat their tenants appropriately. With the housing market being the way it is, do you think that might be leading to some landlords taking advantage these days because they know it's hard for people to find a place to live right right now. Well, unfortunately, I do. I, I do think that there are some bad apple landlords out there who really use that as an opportunity to exploit tenants. They know that it's tough for tenants to find alternative housing in this tight labor market. And unfortunately, we've got some landlords who try to take advantage of that. City of Pontiac recently adopted new housing ordinances that state that all rental properties must be registered through the city of Pontiac and have safety inspections every three years or when a new tenant moves in. So we really want to make sure that we as the city continue to do more to enforce our code to inspect rental units and that's why we've doubled the number of code enforcement and rental unit inspectors that we have as a city but we also want to empower our tenants to stand up for themselves to know their rights. Cassandra Bradford Daniels says she had to fight back against the landlord she says wasn't addressing the problem causing cold air to come into her home. In your experience not only will a landlord not keep up with the property give some code violations but in the end they can try to evict you and affect your credit after all of that yes and that's what happened to me she attempted to evict me i had a lease my rent was not behind i had escrowed her and everything sent her to certified letters about what i was going to do about the repair of the front door which was causing me 600 dollars gas bill i had to go get some help from because it was actual cold snow and everything coming through that front door once they mess your credit up they're right you can't get in nowhere so she wanted to mess my credit up by evicting me but guess what i won she had to give me my deposit back and I kept that first money escrow that she put in there. And I spoke with others here today who say now that they have more knowledge, they intend to fight back against their landlords as well. Reporting in Pontiac, I'm AJ Walker, CBS News, Detroit.